Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to learn about dripping paint text effect. This is a really an amazing thing and we are going to learn this uh, dripping paint text effect in this lesson. So you can, you can make some different type of uh, stylish uh, text effect and we are going to learn this entire things right now. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. So at first we have to go for create new option because in here we are going to apply some different style so therefore i'm going to click this create new option for creating a new document then you can pick any uh, size you want like uh, you can use a uh, 1920 by 1080 pixel or you can just use this default photoshop size so i'm using this um, um 1920 by 1080 pixel okay once you select this one you can just go for create option okay so what we got we got a blank space and a transparent document but instead of transparent document at first i want to i want to add a rectangle shape in here so here is the rectangle shape and please make sure the fill color for the rectangle shape is black so i'm going to use this black color okay then i'm going to draw a rectangle shape in here okay cool then we got a rectangle layer in here now we have to use our type tool because we need to type something else and for typing you have to use this type tool let me click this type tool and now i want to i want to type a text in here so as an example let me write stephen okay so you can see here that uh, we used 438 point because the size of the document is large therefore we use this point so uh, you can use any any text font you can use any text size depends on your choice so depend on your document you can use any type of uh, text style as well as you can use the large font or small font you can use any one else from here okay so let me click this tick mark and i'm using this move tool for placing my text properly okay i want to make it more bigger therefore i have to scale it and you know how to scale the text you just have to press ctrl and t button from your keyboard okay cool now we have to add an image and for adding an image we're not going to use the open option right now we're going to use the place embedded option so therefore here is the file menu here is a place embedded option and inside our exercise file you will have um some kind of this jeremy thomas unsplash image so i'm just selecting this one and i'm clicking place so you can see here that it's an image of a different type of leaves and we have multiple color in here. So I want to place the image in the same position. So for placing the image in the same position, you just have to click the stick mark or you can press the enter button from your keyboard. Okay, so now you have to, you have to follow one thing. That is, you should place your layer in this way. At the bottom you will have your rectangle layer or back you can also take a background layer with a black uh with black background content or instead of that you can use a rectangle shape with black fill color then in second position or at middle position you have to place the text layer and at top the image will be placed so you must have to follow the same process now you have to you have to right click in our top layer or in the flower layer and then you have to click this create clipping mask so when we will click this create clipping mask this this a flower or this um, a leaf image will be placed inside the text so let me click this one so as i was saying once you will click this create clipping mask then the image will be placed inside the text okay cool but you can still you can still move the images because if you place your mouse inside the text and if you click with your um, mouse then you will be able to move or change the direction of the images okay so now what we got we got a nice text effect but it's not completed yet 
now we have to convert all this layer into smart object therefore you have to press control button from your keyboard and you have to select all these three layers and then you have to right click with your mouse and you will have this convert to smart object option that means all the layers will be converted in a smart object and all the layers will be will placed inside this top layer and now we will we will apply the dripping paint text effect therefore we have to use a filter and therefore you just have to go for filter menu then you will have this liquify option so let me click this liquify option then a pop-up will appear so this is our pop-up and please make sure that you are using that forward verb tool so you must have to use this forward verb tool and you can use the default setting actually this forward verb tool can liquify the object of this text so as an example when you will click with your mouse you can see here when you will move the mouse inside in here you can see that the inside object are changing okay so uh with the forward verb tool what you did you can uh, change the image pattern that's placed inside the text but we will apply the dripping paint text effect that means the paint will be dripped from this uh, text so let's start with the age option so you just have to use your mouse so you can see here with the use of mouse okay it's look like that uh, this paint is dripped from here let me make some more okay so you just seen here that we we created some kind of uh, dripping pen text effect in here with the use of forward liquify tool and once it's done you just have to click okay okay now you can see the difference between before and after and after applying the liquify tool now it looks like this so if you need to make some kind of uh, this dripping pen text effect in adobe photoshop you can use this technique for making this effect so I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'm going to see you in the next lesson.